screen. Hi, thank you very much. Um, so according to what you're saying, uh, the idea of Europe is uh, to have a two state um, in Israel. Makes sense than a one state or two nation that uh, some people in Israel want to do. Forget it. Well, the solution has to be checked because you have to look at what happens with the case of marriage within what uh, people call the, the Palestinians. Let me show you something. The problem with the Palestinians, uh, people who are called Palestinians, that they, let's say a girl from Hebron have no option to get married to a boy from Nablus, from Shechem. Because they say, Mush minna, not from us. In other language, people will say, Nisht yeah. unzer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Mush minna, this is in Arabic. Okay. Uh, they all, in Hebron, in Shechem, they look at Gaza from high and above. Nobody marries from there. Because the language in Gaza is a Bedouin language. While in the Hebron, Shechem, is a derivative of the Syrian Arabic. So, since they don't share much, except for the hatred to Israel, uh, to hope that there will be one consolidated society is just like to hope that Iraq will be a consolidated society or Syria. This is why the only solution between Israel and the Palestinians is the tribal solution. Because tribal countries are the only hope for the Middle East. And this is this is the solution. The eight emirate solution. Gaza, first of all, is a state already for 12 years since Hamas took over in June 2007. Gaza is a state, whether we like it or not. It has borders, it has a government, it has a judicial system, it has an army, it has a police. They also have a military industry. They know how to produce missiles and to attack us. And they have Ministry of Health. And they have uh, everything which a state needs, they have. Now, not only this, Gaza is not only a state. It is a super state. How do I know? They succeeded with the years to force their enemies, means Israel, to feed them to give them water, to give them fuel, to give them electricity. And whenever a lady in Gaza has problems in childbirth, she is being brought to Israel to give birth to the next jihadist in a safe place, like Be'er Sheva or Ashkelon. OK? This is why Gaza is a super state. Because in spite of the fact that they want to get rid of Israel altogether, they forced Israel to feed them and to drench them and everything else. OK? So this is why Gaza is a state and even more. Now, Gaza functions much better than Syria, Iraq, Sudan, Libya, Yemen combined. OK? So Gaza has to be recognized as a state. And now Israel can live side by side with the state on basis of deterrence. And deterrence means once in a while you remind them that you don't, they don't mess with you. Uh, another emirate in Hebron, for the clans of Hebron, Jabri, Kawas, Menache, Tamimi, Abu Snena, clans who have a um, tribal a court which solves all the problems. They don't resort to the judicial system of the Palestinian Authority because the Palestinian Authority is viewed as illegitimate because those who created it are the Zionists for their purposes. Another emirate in Jericho for the Arikat clan, which lives there. And by the way, they have a leader. Uh, his, name, his name is uh, uh, Sheikh Farid al-Jabri. And now his, uh, his uh, nephew uh, replaces him. Uh, Jericho also has a leader named Saib Arikat. Uh, Ramallah is another, another, clan, another emirate for the Barghouti and Abu Ain and, uh, and Tawil. Uh, clans, Nablus for the Masri, Tukan, and Shaka'a, another emirate, another emirate in Tulkarim for the Karmis, 
And another one, Kalkilia and Jenin, while Israel should forever remain in the rural areas, offer Israeli citizenship to the people in the villages, and uh, give independence to the Emirates uh, in the cities. This will uh, give independence to like 90% of the Palestinians. 90% of them will be free from Israel, while the 10% will be Israeli citizens, just like the Arabs in the Galilee or in the south. <coughs> this is a solution which, based on the culture of the Middle East, and not about dreams about nations which do not exist in the Middle East, Iraqi nation or, or Syrian nation. And you know what? I have a secret for you. There is not an Israeli nation as well. What we have in Israel is two ethnic groups, Jews and Arabs. Arabs are 20% of the population of Israel. And with the 71 years of independence, the Jews did not become Arabs. The Arabs did not become Jews. And both did not become something else which is detached from the Jewish tradition and the Arab tradition. Means an artificial Israeli nation which is neither Jewish nor Arab, okay? So since there is no Israeli nation, there is no uh, uh, Syrian nation, they are all tribes and ethnic groups and so forth, there is no Iraqi nation and no Libyan nation, no Yemenite nation, they are all groups, traditional groups. The same is with the Palestinians. They are not different from the Middle Eastern culture. There are no immigrants like us or, or Lim as we came as individuals and marry each other regardless of where uh, our uh, uh, grandfathers came from or grandmothers came from. These are much more traditional societies and the Palestinians resemble the culture of the Middle East much more than they resemble the Jewish uh, uh, culture of the State of Israel. This is why uh, but if we want to create a viable Palestinian entities, this is the only way how to do it by basing it on the local clans, not on the criminals which Israel unfortunately brought from Tunisia in 1993 to uh, establish the Palestinian Authority, which is illegitimate in the eyes of the local people. Um, as a result, by the way, uh, every week almost, there are clashes in Shechem mainly, in Nablus, between the local clans and the Palestinian Authority. Nobody reports about this but it's not because it's not politically correct. And if Arabs kill Arabs, nobody really cares. So uh, this is why it's not in the media. But almost every week there are still clashes between the Palestinian Authority and the local clans of, uh, of uh, Nablus. By the way, every tribe has its own militia in order to protect it, whether it lives in a city or it lives in the desert, which is another problem. So uh, this is the only solution which actually corresponds with the culture of the Middle East rather than dreams about nations which don't exist in the Middle East as they do in Europe, for example. Okay, yes, sir. Question. The reason is um, for the highest to leave to Miami, and it takes a while to get there. So one more question, and then you will stay for a few more minutes for others to talk to. So. Please push the button, please. Uh, Ronit, can you push the button again to make it red? Right. So make sure it's okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, you actually answered most of my question. It had to do with the tribal application to the Palestinians. A part of it I s I'm still interested in. How does the tribal aspect apply to the Israeli, the Arab population of Israel? Are there tribes there too? Uh, yes. Uh, factually, what happens is that the Arab uh, neighborhoods, or the Arab uh, villages in, inside Israel, the Arab towns in Israel, are more or less autonomous because the state doesn't interfere in their domestic issues. So they live their own lives. They live their own domestic politics. The state doesn't interfere. The state sponsors everything there, but they don't uh, uh, mess within this. And uh, they live their own life the way they like, and the country leaves them alone. I give you a good example. In Israel, as a state, you cannot uh, marry two wives because it's bigamy uh, or polygamy. While in the Arab sector, they can do whatever they like because the country doesn't implement this law on the Arab societies. Although it's not mentioned anywhere in the, in the, in the law, 
yet the implementation is restricted only to the Jewish uh, community. So they, they do whatever they like. Whether they want to marry, let them do whatever they like. And uh, the country pays uh, children allowance uh, to, every, to every wife. Yes, last one. <coughs> Lady. Uh, uh, now, now you can do. Yeah. Okay. Can you? Okay. I'm sorry for one more question. So, first of all, thank you for your valuable time. And the second is, I was just thinking about another option or possibility, prospect to ease the escalating tension among the tribes. Maybe what happened, what took place in 1979 in Iran with the Khomeini revolution. Because before then, I feel that the tribes, in an essence, went through uh, fragmentation because of the Shen ruling. But after Khomeini, who united with this theocratic ideology, I think they succeeded, in a sense, to unite all Iranians. How do you know? Do they marry each other? Do Baluchi marry Kurds? Uh, not the Kurds, I believe. Kurds, Kurds are still facing with uh, discrimination, but like all, because they, they claim all of them like predominantly is a Shiite area. Well, the Baluchi are Sunni, and so are the Kurds. So to talk about united Iranian nation, you just like to talk about united Iraqi nation or Syrian nation. This is uh, not the situation, unfortunately, to the Iranians. I'll show you the real map of Iran. So you can have a, an idea about the division of Iran. This is more or less the main. In Iran, there are like 40, 40 ethnic groups. 40. The Persians are like 55% of the population. Here you see the Baluchis, Turkmenis, Azeris, Kurdish, Arabs, and there are more. There are Kashkais and Luris and many others. Uh, to say that there is an Iranian nation is as far as could be from the reality. There are Iranian citizens, but not a nation. Just like in Iraq, just like in the Soviet Union. Look, the Soviet Union, 70 years of oppression, uh, they tried to deceive the people with their slogan, Fraternity of Nations. Or Fraternity, uh, yeah, Fraternity of Nations. Okay, one of the... Uh, Okay, so what do you have today? 15 countries, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Georgia, Ukraine, okay? And Russian Federation as well, okay? It means that it was a lie that there is fraternity of nations. Forget it, it was a slogan, nothing but. And it, this why today Russia was divided to 15 countries, ethnic countries, most of them. Look at uh, Yugoslavia.